Uh, my name is, is Forrest S. Kutch. I'm a member of the Indian tribe. I'm a retired uh, person who's uh, presently enjoying my 40-acre ranch and uh, a couple of horses. Native people um, see water as being something very sacred, uh, and it's taken time for them to um, understand that they can actually divert it or use it for their uh, selfish purposes <laughs> beyond just using it in a stream or river. See what I'm saying? The, my people, the Utes, were hunters and gatherers, and so they, they didn't divert water until or, or recognize that water could be used uh, for other purposes until the Hopi uh, introduced corn to them. And so then the Utes began growing corn, so there water, was water diversion then. Um, but I think the whole intent was always to use water for the benefit of all. It was our people, for the most part, were socialist, uh, communalist people. And so the water was used, if it was used in agriculture, to grow crops for everyone. And then the crop would be shared with everyone equal, equally. What happens in a capitalist system is the use of water also is viewed in, in terms of an investment. And the, the thinking there is that I can use this water to benefit myself first. I can make money, grow crops, and sell the crops for profit. And that's the danger of it, see? And that's what's happening. That's, that's what's happening in the Colorado River. There is not this concern for the common good. Um, there's too much exploitation. Uh, people act like water is an endless, endless supply, and it's not. So it's imperative for us to learn how to manage uh, all of nature's resources and to sustain them for future generations. Um, man, Western man in general, uh, speaking of the United States, is very stubborn and ignorant. And it's like we don't take hints or messages from nature. It's like we don't really learn anything until we get whacked. I mean, just a hard slap. Or we've got to get knocked unconscious. Because even getting slapped and knocked down is not enough. We've got to get knocked out. Or put in a hospital. And or, or thousands of us end up in uh, disaster before we learn anything. Nature is talking to us right now, big time. And the dryness we're experiencing out here, the drought in certain parts of the West, are very serious. And then when we do get rain, it's a... Uh, the, the soils can't support it, so we end up in, uh, you know, these <laughs> these flash floods that, that cause trouble and more harm. There's no choice here. We either get get it <laughs> or we die. Uh, there's no choice. You know, the one thing I try to do in my life every day is get up in the morning and give thanks that I'm alive and give thanks for fresh air first, then water, and then the food I eat, the food that I have, that I grow and eat. I can't live without water. So water then becomes sacred. It's, it's, a, it's a sacred part of my existence. And so that's my story, is that water is sacred and it needs to be treated as such and, and respected because it, is, it, is, it has its own power. We, we are a resource to this nation. This is, this is our native land. We're indigenous to this land. And we have a say. We all need water. It's like, do you get it? Wait a minute, do you really get it? We all need water? Mm -hmm.